The sphere and cone have a bunch of useful combinations that you'll be able to create. Um, and you're going to use this one quite a bit, especially if you're trying to draw characters and so on. And it's useful for everything from ice cream cones. And you can do both kinds of ice cream cones pretty readily with some simple some simple cones and spheres. You can even do a double scoop. You can do shaved ice. Because now it's a cup. A little bit of shaved ice in it. Then you can do things like hats. You can do your dunce cap. You can do a party hat. You can do things like um, your spacecraft, right? You can do things like, um, you know, your gumball machine. Come to think of it, you could do things like collars as well, right? You have a head, you can have a collar. Just part of a cone, right? The cone just connects there. You can also do the casa, right? Your hat that kind of comes to a point at the top. So there's all kinds of things you can do with, with sphere and cone combinations. And by shifting the proportions and the way that they attach to each other, you can create a lot of fun associations with it. And it's good to play around with these abstractly um, and just kind of see what the possibilities are and what kind of come out of your head. And, you know, once you reach the limits of your imagination, then go back to drawing objects and objects will teach you more about how these things combine.